You're about to see the Me TV, the Sony Watchman, the world's first flat screen television. A while back, I did a video showing some of these little um, portable analog TVs stand up. I really like these, they're fun to collect. And recently, I got another one. This one's even bigger. Look at the size of that thing. Looks like a 90s cartoon, the face on the bottom. This is the Sony Watchman FD40A. And it's basically identical to my little 20, only it's a four inch screen instead of two inch. And it also came with the power supply, which works on both of these, conveniently enough. So plug this in. It's got a power button on the top here. And there we go. Now I can pick up regular old TV on this. And when I say regular, I mean old analog signals. I still don't have an F connector to three and a half headphone jack adapter for the antenna in on these. So I'm going F to BNC to RCA to RCA coupler to a Y adapter that goes from RCA to three and a half. I just plug that into the external antenna on here like so. And now we can tune around. don't think there's any channels other than just a test pattern. Oh wait, here we go. Yes, people point at me, stare at me. Sometimes they won't wait on me in stores. I get lonely. And even... Russell could defend against anybody. He's not dead to have the top line. A little bit of a switch. Switch to UHF. So yeah, it uh, works pretty well. Uh, the picture is nowhere near linear. If I go back to uh, the SMTPE uh, color bars here, you see that it just goes whoop up the side there. These 90 degree CRTs aren't exactly uh, the best for that. But I mean, it's a portable TV, it's fine. What's interesting with this one though, and I'm gonna compare it to this FD20 here. So the FD20 has a video in on the side. It's a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, but it's only video. So it's essentially a monaural tip ring connector, two connections just for video and ground. That's it, there is no way to bring audio into this. When you plug that in, it mutes the tuner audio, but it's just for looking at a video feed. This one, this big boy, has a custom connector on the side labeled AV in. Now this may look like an RCA jack and you may go, oh, how are you getting AV in when you really only have two connections just like that three and a half millimeter headphone jack? You know, one in the middle and one on the outside. An RCA jack can really only carry one signal, a single channel of audio, or the video signal, but it's not going to carry both. So I did some Googling and this has a three and a tip ring monaural three and a half millimeter headphone jack inside of an RCA connector. So instead of having this single post in the center, like an RCA jack, set my focus onto there, you have a headphone jack. And uh, yeah, I was like, that's, kind of cool. I need to build my own connector now.
So I went online and I found this website that I will link in the description. And he showed making one of them out of one of these adapters. Y you can get them in different variations where they have either an RCA jack or a headphone jack on here. Um, this one is left and right going to a stereo headphone jack. And what I did is I cut it open and rewired the little bus bars that go to this headphone jack and then I epoxied a sleeve from an RCA connector on the outside and I don't know if you can how well you can see it here if there's enough light but I soldered yeah there it is you can sort of see where I soldered a wire a ground wire to this that goes to these two grounds on the inside here anyway it sort of works uh, let me plug it in and I'll show you what it does. Milhouse, I'm so sorry. He can't hear you now. We had to pack his ears with gauze. It works. I'm just going to turn the volume down there. But what I find is that unless you have it sitting just right, sometimes the picture goes weird. See there, now it's washed out and overblown. And if I push it in, which I can't really do one handed, there. So now it's normal. But it works. But I decided to make another one anyway, because I wanted to make two different variations. And here's the second one. Kind of a mess. Uh, both of these were just using whatever I had lying around. Let's turn some light on here. This is a 90 degree, three and a half millimeter monaural connector. So it's a lot closer to what this one is expecting, because I used a stereo connector on here and just ignored the um, middle one, the middle one just gets ignored. So it's just the, uh, this outer one and then the one that you can't really see that's all the way inside the sleeve. So again, rewired it. So these two on the headphone jack are audio and video. Outer sleeve is ground. And solder that there, soldered a ground wire that goes to these two cables, ties them together, goes to these. And this is nice if I wanna hook the TV up to something directly, I don't need an extra patch cable. It's less convenient right now because these are the cables coming from my DVD player. But anyway, take this and plug it into the side. Reverse the cables because I hooked them up backwards for some reason. And there we go. Something cliche. You play the guitar? Oh yeah, I'm a superstar. So yeah, I can get a proper line in on this. It looks janky, but I've actually been using these for quite a bit and they are holding up just fine. Uh, it's hard to unplug and plug them in one handed. This connector has a lot of grip, being that it's both the three and a half jack and this outer sleeve. Usually it's just the outer sleeve that holds the connector in or the three and a half jack. So you have two methods to hold it on and they're kind of fighting each other with this implementation. Otherwise, pretty standard ex external antenna connector, built-in antenna. The um, brightness adjustment, these are all supposed to be the same. Uh, these are just little inserts that will sit inside here and turn just a little flat blade adjustment but the brightness one was broken. So I moved vertical hold up to brightness because I mean, how often am I gonna be adjusting vertical hold? A screwdriver is perfectly fine. Someone put their number of sorts on there. 0511 KE, whatever that is. Got tuning and volume on the side. The external six volt in, negative, uh, center negative as Sony is known to do. And this sucker will take, how is it, four C cells? Yeah, four C cell batteries. This one takes four double A's. So this is definitely a power hungry beast given the size of the CRT in it. Earphone jack that Sony does, they're always in lovely green. Anyway, just wanted to show off my new toy. Um, I actually used this one quite a bit on the deck last year. It started out as more of a novelty, like, hey, look, I can watch stuff on my deck on a tiny screen in black and white, whereas I could just watch it on my phone on a nice screen in color. 
but I kind of enjoyed the novelty of it and watched it more than I thought I would. And uh, yeah, this one is just flipping cool. That's all I had to show. Bye.